All right, here's the last portion of this extremely long lesson. In the last example, we are basically wanting to start from right here and you are multiplying this out to get back to the polynomial that's not in factor form. These last examples are just algebra, just simplifying, okay? Now what they are gonna do is they're gonna give us our real zeros in one of the irrational or complex zeros, and we have to know that we get the other one. So like if they gave me X minus two Y, well, these have to come in conjugate pairs. So I know that the other factor would have to be X plus two Y. Okay, so we're working backwards now. So find the polynomial function with the lowest degree with the rational coefficients that has the given numbers as some of its zeros. So I have three plus square root five and two. Well, because of this rational or irrational zero, I know that my other one must be three minus the square root of five. Notice both threes are positive. What's in front of the radical is what changes signs. Okay. So in factored form, this first one here would be X minus three plus square root five. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one with this one. So we've got X minus again, three minus square root five. Okay. And then we have X minus two. We don't need brackets there. Okay. So let's simplify these here. Let's distribute the negative. So this one becomes X minus three minus square root five and X minus three plus the square root of five. And we'll bring down that X minus two. Okay, let me get some different colors here. We're gonna go Christmas. When I look at these here, notice that I have an X minus three at the beginning of both of these. We're gonna call these A. And I have a square root five at the back portion of these. We're gonna call that B. Notice that one is minus, one is plus. This is just a difference of squares kind of situation here. So I've got X, I got X minus three here and X minus three here. So that means I have two of them. Minus. square root of five squared, because again, I've got two of them. So now just multiply out. X minus three squared is X minus three times X minus three, you FOIL, and we get X squared minus six X plus nine. minus the square root of five times the square root of five is just five. <clears throat> so we simplify that and we've got X squared minus six X, nine uh, minus five is four. Okay. And then all the while we still have X minus two. Now I need to multiply a trinomial times a binomial. So we'll do X squared times both of these. So X squared times X is X cubed. X squared times a negative two is negative two X squared. Now negative six times both. So negative six X times X is negative six X squared. 
negative 6x times a negative 2 is positive 12x, and 4 times both. You get plus 4x and then minus 8. So combine your like terms. That's going to give me negative 8x squared, and then like terms here, um, plus 16x and then minus 8. So this is my polynomial with these zeros. Algebra. Let's try algebra again. If I have x plus i and 1, I know my other 0 is 5. I think I said x. But if I got 5 plus i, then I know my other 0 is 5 minus i. The 5s are both positive, but what goes in front of the i changes signs. So do the same thing here. It's always x minus your 0. I'm going to put my complex zeros together. So x minus these right here. And then x minus your 0 here, which is just x minus 1. Let's distribute the negative on both of these. And I get x minus 5 minus i and x minus 5 plus i. Bring down your x minus 1. So notice here, I've got x minus 5 twice. So that's x minus 5 squared minus, we have two i's. So that's i squared. Expand this out and FOIL. This is x minus 5 times x minus 5. When you multiply that out, you get x squared minus 10x plus 25 minus i squared is the same thing as negative 1. I squared equals negative one. So we got x squared minus 10x, that's 25 plus one plus 26. And then x minus one comes down. So now multiply x squared times both of these. You get x cubed minus x squared, negative 10x times both, negative 10x squared plus 10x, and then 26 times both. And then last up, combine your like terms. You get negative 11x squared plus 36x minus 26. This is just algebra. It is simplified. We will have two homework questions. One like each, one with irrational zeros, and one with complex zeros that you got to multiply back together to its uh, original polynomial before it's factored.